All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. As always, if you learn something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. Today, I am in SQL Server, and we're going to be talking about JSON. So basically, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's an open standard file format used to exchange data between various systems. So let's take a look at a, a JSON column that I have in a uh, SQL Server table. Okay, so here's a very simple script. I'm just selecting star from a table called JSON example. And if I run that, you can see it's gonna return two columns. And you'll notice in this JSON column, um, these key value pairs for the data. So position, data analyst, school, Clark Atlanta University, major, computer science. And then compensation is made up of three different components uh, in and of itself. There's like an array associated with compensation, not just one value. And so sometimes you'll see this, you'll see data stored in a column like this, and you have to work with it. And so here we are. This is a violation of first normal form from my data modelers. Um, we shouldn't have composite or multi-valued attributes in a column, but here we are. So let's take a look at how we would extract values out of a JSON formatted column. Okay, so let's say I wanna pull out the position and the school from JSON format. Uh, into their own columns, right? That's gonna make the data usable. So I'll say select JSON ID, because I, I do wanna see the, uh, the ID there. And what we're going to use is the JSON value, JSON value function. So when I use a JSON value, I have to give it a column. So JSON column is the column name. And then I have to use this specific notation, single tick, dollar sign, dot. And so I want the position. So I'm going to type position and close that up between tick marks. And then we'll just alias this as position. And then I also want to do, whoops, yeah, I can't uh, type here, JSON value. And let's go ahead and repeat this but instead of position i want school and we'll call this school so the idea here is to pull out these two values from the json format let's go ahead and run that and you'll see i've got those nice uh, values sitting in their own columns so that is really handy json value remember that Okay, so let me take you back. Let's take a look at our uh, JSON format again. And you'll notice there is a, again, compensation, which is combined of kind of these three sub, this array with these three sub attributes in here. But what if I want salary? Like, that's great. You've got me positioned in school. How do I get salary? So can I do the same thing? So just put in... Let's see, salary, and we want to alias that as salary. Will this work? Let's go ahead and run this. And you'll notice it does not work. It's giving me nulls. So if you don't reference something correctly, you're going to get null values back. Something very important to note. So if we go back here. How do I get into this salary? Basically, I have to uh, add something to my notation here. So I'm going to put in <clears throat> period compensation dot salary. So you see I have the compensation and then by putting the dot, it's saying, hey, ref uh, reference salary within compensation. So now if I run this, you'll see I get the salary in its own column. One thing I should note for the salary, this is this is treated as a uh, as a string or uh, varcar. So if I wanted to do some sort of aggregation or sum, uh, it's not going to like me. So I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the wrong way first. So let's get rid of all this and let's just assume 
uh, we needed to uh, sum the the salary. So I'm going to put in here sum uh, all of this, and I should be able to right. You would think I would be able to do this. Just put a sum around it and call it you know salary sum something like that, and run. Will it run? It does not. Operand data type in Varkar is invalid for the sum operator. So we have to throw in the cast. We have to throw in a cast here. So we're going to cast this, right, as a, let's say, as a decimal first. So let's cast the salary as decimal. And, you know, I'm just going to pick, let's say, 12, 2. That should be more than enough. And I need to close those two up. And now I'm casting it. It comes out as a string from JSON value. I'm casting it as a decimal. Then I'm summing it. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is the sum of the salaries for um, uh, the, the four positions that are in uh, JSON format. So hopefully that makes sense. Now I'm going to show you one last function called JSON query. And JSON query is going to extract an object or an array from the string as opposed to a value. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to copy this. Let's bring it down here. And it's, uh, let's, let's get rid of all of that. That's fine. And let's do a, uh, instead of JSON value, let's do JSON query. Right? JSON query, and what do I want a JSON query? Not compensation.salary, just compensation here. And we'll call this, uh, you know, we'll just call it compensation array, something like that. So now if I select this, you'll see I just get the components of compensation. I'm not pulling out a specific value where I was trying to get salary out of here. It's like, hey, pull out the whole array for compensation. So JSON query can be useful in situations as well. So this has been Anthony Smoke. You learn how to use the JSON value function to pull values out of a JSON format. You learn how to aggregate um, using the sum and cast functions against JSON values. And you learned about the JSON query if you need to extract an object or an array from a JSON string. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button and leave a comment. This has been Anthony Smoke. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Stay data driven. Thanks for watching, everyone.